this time I will discuss some basic knowledge required uh, for beam or slab design. So first knowledge we need to know is the ratio between the depth and the width of a beam section. Again, this is a D and this portion is called A. D is the depth from centroid of the reinforcement to the compression phase. ACI code recommends D by B should be within 1.5 to 2. This ratio is, is, is very like very good uh, considering everything. Now, can it be 1.4? Is it, is, it, is it a mistake or wrong? No, it's okay. But this ratio is good. If you if you for your B if the ratio is say 2.02, is it wrong? No, is, is it okay? It's still okay. But 1.5 to 2 is a recommendation based design. Okay, so um, uh, number two, number two is what should, number two is the A is minimum. That means what should be your thickness, thickness of the beam. We call this the thickness for slab is. Yes. What is the minimum thickness? So we should provide some minimum thickness uh, so that when load is applied or wherever uh, or whenever you will walk about the structure, it doesn't vibrate so much. Very thin slab, it, it, it vibrates a lot. Yes, if you come in a multi-story building, uh, sometimes you hear the noise up a stair. Why? If the slab is thin. So we need to make sure uh, we, we need to make sure the thickness has some minimum value. What is that? Uh, ACI recommended some value. It is in your book table 4 1. But I can remember that for a simply supported beam, simply supported solid, simply supported solid beam, uh, the minimum A is minimum A should be L over 20. L means the span. So whatever the span, the minimum should be L over 20. If it is cantilever, 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 then A is mean should be L over 10. If it is one side continuous, yes. If it is one side continuous, in that case it will be L over 24. If it, okay, maybe I am confusing here, I should not write here. Say, beam here, this is my beam, yes. One side continuous, in that case, the ace minimum should be at least L over 24. L is this. Okay, so I will erase some here, make it clean. So again, do not memorize this number because this number changes with time. Yes, ACI updates their specification every year. But it has to know that uh, there is a minimum thickness requirement to avoid the vibration. Again, if you do not maintain this, is it a problem? Uh, it is not a big problem only your uh, slab or beam will vibrate. Okay, that is number two. Number three is, so number three, I need some space. Number three is, say, bar selection. Bar selection. Like, which bar, which number of bar you will select. You know that there is different number of bar, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number 10, number 11, number 14, number 18. These are the common bars available. Who is bar to select? Who is bar to select for this one? So these two bar, typically for tie or, for tie or stirrup, uh, for ties, yes, right here ties. This bar we commonly use in slab. Commonly use in slab. This bar we commonly use in uh, beam column. Beam or column. Beam or column, we try to use this bar. This bar we try to avoid because it's so thick. Number 14 is this, number 18 is this. It's difficult to bend. So we try to avoid, but again in breeze, in breeze, we need huge reinforcement. In that case, we, we provide this. In normal structure, we do not try to use this. Even number 11, better to avoid because it's very difficult to bend. So 9, 10 is good for beam. 
No, this is general. Yeah, general. If we use say number nine power slab, is it a problem? No. But typically people uh, people follow this this uh, common practices. Okay, then number four. Number four can be tie size. Tie or stirrup, yes. Tie or stirrup size. That means what is the size of this tie? Okay, so if I clean, what is the size of this tie? That's number number uh, four. I already told you number three or number four. When? If this reinforcement, if this reinforcement up to number 10, then uh, this tie should be number 3. If it is over number 10, then your tie should be number 4. So if the main reinforcement is up to number uh, 10, then your tie should be number 3. If this bar is 11 or more, number 4. The other thing here is sometimes we use hanger here, hanger, hanger to hold this tie. What is the size? Typically one size larger than this. If it is number three, this is number four. If it is number four, this is number five. I also saw that many companies, they always use number five. That is okay. It is not sharp. Just general practice or to start uh, starting point. Okay, if I go to your book, the next is uh, cover. Hey. Say, what is cover? Cover means what should be the cover material here? The cover material here, this cover. So outside the reinforcement, outside the tiger, what should be the distance? Yeah, why do we need to, why do we need to provide this cover? Just to protect my uh, bar from corrosion so that water doesn't go here. What is the distance in 1.5 inch per beam and column interior? In interior environment where there is no chance of getting water, 1.5 inch per beam and column is good. If if my if my reinforced concrete section is outside, if we use it outside, say for example in foundation where there is soil, water, close to CPs where there is water, in that case we make this value three inches. In that case, three inches. Uh, or simply I say exterior. Exterior beam and column. If it is exterior beam, column, foundation, anything, uh, three inches. Before foundation, three inches. For slab, if it is slab, we use 0.75 inches for slab. And slab is mainly for interior, so 0.75 inches. If the slab, uh, uh, slab has a chance of getting water, say in the roof, uh, if, it has a, if, it, uh, if, if there is a chance of getting water, then we should increase it. Then the next topic is uh, minimum spacing, number six. Minimum spacing. That means, say I have many bar, what should be the minimum space? Or what should be the clear space? What should be the clear space between any two bar? That memorize one inch or bar dia. Whatever the bar diameter or one inch, whatever the larger, there should be the minimum spacing between two bar for any members, beam, column, slab, foundation, whatever it is. For anything, one inch or bar diameter. Yeah. Say if my bar is a number nine bar, what is the dia of the number nine bar? 9 by 8 inch so our one is so one is or 1.125 inch so for this case 1.125 inch okay the next topic is 
Yeah, I think I covered uh, everything in your book, whatever they discussed. Uh, some knowledge before this starting beam was slab design. Something else, hot or something else, or something else. Then what is the maximum maximum spacing? Fox, what is the maximum spacing of this? Maximum spacing or maximum center to center spacing between two bar. Because I told you about minimum clear cover. Then what is the maximum center to center spacing? So that should be three times is whatever the is or 18 is whatever the is smaller. If the reinforcement is main bar, if the reinforcement is for temperature, temperature we try to use in the medium, but most of the cases we cannot. So whatever the case is here, wherever you place, if the if the reinforcement is for temperature or shrink case, if my concrete shrink or due to temperature change, if it expand to uh, protect that, if we provide temperature or shrink case, in that case, five ways or 18 ways. So this is for temperature and shrink case. This is for uh, flexural, flexural reinforcement. Flexural reinforcement. So hopefully I covered most of the things. Again, if I revise, what should be the uh, ratio? Ratio of the depth to width, 1.5 to 2. Is uh, then next or next one is we should provide some minimum thickness to avoid the vibration for simply supported beam, L over 20. And then next is selection of bar. Try to avoid number 14, number 18, unless it is extremely needed. Even try to avoid number 11 because it is so thick, very difficult to bend. And then tie, tie size minimum is number 3 if your main reinforcement is number 10 or less. If, my, if your main reinforcement is 11 or more, then tie should be number 4. And then next topic, uh, and next one is uh, minimum spacing between two bar minimum spacing between any two bar the clear spacing the clear spacing between two bar should be at least one is or the bar diameter what is the maximum spacing between two bar center to center three times a is depth or 18 is whatever is uh, smaller for temperature and shrinkage reinforcement it is five times a is or uh, the or, or or 18 is so uh, better to uh, memorize this or just to know that you should it is in your book go back to your book read more uh, okay so in next video i will start a beam design problem